Every day new innovations and ideas are brought up in front of the world. These new thoughts will shape the coming future in such a way that will take humanity to an indescendable height. Such innovations in the field of aviation aren't hidden from a command man's eye. Starting with today's video, we have Lockheed Martin X-59 Quest. Sometimes styled Quest ST is an American experimental supersonic aircraft being developed at Skunk Works for NASA's Low Boom Flight Demonstrator Project. Preliminary design started in February 2016. It is expected to cruise at Mach 1.42 at an altitude of 16,800 meters, creating a low 75 perceived level decibel thump to evaluate supersonic transport acceptability. The low boom plane has a 9 meters wingspan for a maximum takeoff weight of 14,700 kg. Propelled by a General Electric F414 engine, the cockpit, ejection seat and canopy come from a Northrop T-38 and the landing gear from an F-16. With afterburner, its engine will provide 98 kN of thrust. Number 2 is Arian AS-2. The Arian AS-2 was a proposed supersonic business jet that was being developed by Arian Corporation. The Arian S-212 passenger aircraft aimed for Mach 1.6 with a supersonic natural laminar flow wing for a minimum projected range of 4 750 nautical miles. The cabin seats up to 8 10 passengers. Powered by three General Electric Affinity turbofan engines, each producing 80 kN thrust. Noise regulations caused Arian to change the design from two engines to three. Next is Skylon. Skylon is a series of concept designs for a reusable single stage to orbit spaceplane by the British company Reaction Engines Limited, using Sabre, a combined cycle, air breathing rocket propulsion system. The vehicle design is for a hydrogen fueled aircraft that would take off from a specially built reinforced runway and accelerate to Mach 5.4 at 26 km altitude using the atmosphere's oxygen before switching the engines to use the internal liquid oxygen supply to accelerate to the Mach 25 necessary to reach a 400 km orbit. It will be powered by two Sabre 4 liquid air cycle engine, producing 2000 kN thrust each. Up next is Singer. Singer was a West German concept design for a two-stage to orbit spaceplane. It is named after Eugen Singer, who had been a key figure in the development of the concept for aerospace company Junkers. The Singer was a highly aerodynamic hypersonic aircraft, similar in size to a conventional Boeing 747 airliner. As a conventional aircraft, it was projected to have been capable of cruising speeds of up to Mach 4.4 over a range of 11,000 kilometers while carrying around 230 passengers. This was more than double the speed, range, and capacity of the Anglo-French Concorde. The Singer would have been powered by an arrangement of six hybrid turboramjet engines. Next on the list is Lockheed Martin X-33. The Lockheed Martin X-33 was a proposed uncrewed, sub-scale technology demonstrator suborbital spaceplane that was developed for a period in the 1990s. The X-33 would flight test a range of technologies that NASA believed it needed for single-stage to orbit reusable launch vehicles, such as metallic thermal protection systems, composite cryogenic fuel tanks for liquid hydrogen, the aerospike engine, autonomous flight control, rapid flight turnaround times through streamlined operations, and its lifting body aerodynamics. That's all for today. See you in another video.